I'm in a small fishing village in the extreme north of Norway. It's October 2nd. It's cold. It's just around freezing, hovering around freezing. And I just spent the night in that rental car right there. You see, I can afford to come to Norway, but I can't afford to stay in Norway because the prices are so astronomical. To stay overnight would be hundreds of dollars here. So I have, all I have is this rental car. It costs me $80 a day, but it's serving both my transportation needs and my lodging needs. So uh, for the rest of my journey here in, in Norway and, and several other countries, I'm gonna be sleeping in a rental car. Now this is an acquired skill it's something that you have to train for like an athletic event because the problem number one is keeping cold keeping warm and number two is may managing to sleep all scrunched up in the back seat of this thing so this is my house it's just a little tiny compact car i have to scrunch up in the fetal position here and uh to, to, to be able to lie down. It's very important to, to be able to get the, your feet at about the same level as your, as your head. You really can't sleep sitting up like this because all the blood pools down to your legs and it's really not healthy. To sleep well, you really have to get up at a level uh, area. You don't have to be stretched out, however. So in, in the case of a small car like this, I sleep curled up in the, in the fetal position with my, my knees bent, basically. The, if you can bend your knees and sleep with your knees bent, then you can sleep in a car of any size here. The uh, Part of the challenge of sleeping in Norway is that I had to bring all of my bedding with me uh, because I can't afford to buy a sleeping bag here either. So I, I brought my own sleeping bag. It all It's a very lightweight one. It uh, had to fit into my luggage. I have only one 50 pound bag, so I brought this sleeping bag and I brought um, one blanket, which I essentially use as a pillow or as if it's really cold, I drape this one blanket over my sleeping bag and I'm sleeping in all of my warm clothes. So I'm sleeping in all of this here. Uh, so the, all of that together, the sleeping bag, the blanket and my Several layers of warm clothes are just enough for me to survive at in, in zero temperature here at the at the freezing level. If it goes much below freezing, it's not quite enough. It's good to have a small car because my body heat warms up the car. Now, one thing you might not have known without uh, practicing this is that you can sleep with a car's windows completely closed. There's actually enough air in the car to keep you alive all night without having to open the windows. And that's very important because with the windows closed, you're retaining more heat. Now you couldn't do this in the, in the summer. The summer, the problem is losing heat and you have to open the windows, but technically just for air, uh, the air that's in this car was enough to keep me alive. And if you do run out of air, you know, you're going to gasp for air. It, it's not something that's going to sneak up on you. It's not like carbon monoxide poisoning. If you run out of air in here, well, you're going to know about it and you'll end up opening a window. But the air, even in a small car like this, is sufficient to sustain me overnight. So actually the smaller the car, the better because you have a more confined space and your body heat goes further. If you have a much bigger car, uh, you, you have, that means a colder car. So a, uh, a small car is good. Now you may say, I can't do this. I can't possibly sleep like this. Well, you can, it's just like training for any other athletic event. You, the first time you do it, it's gonna be very painful, but with time you learn how to, uh, you, you learn how to work your body in such a way that you can get a good night's sleep. And last night I got a pretty good night's sleep. It wasn't great, but uh, I shifted around a bit and I managed to get a good eight, seven or eight hours of sleep. When I wake up in the morning, I jump into the driver's seat and I start driving immediately to crank up the heat and get everything working. And so that's just about all you have to know. Oh, I, I have a, a pee bottle. I have a pee bottle, uh, a male version of a pee bottle, which is 
I find Gatorade bottles work fine. Now, if you're a female, you have to figure out your own contraption. I can't help you with that. But you need to be able to pee in the middle of the night. And that's about it. That's about it. You just, just got to do it several times in varying conditions and learn what your body needs and what kind of bedding you need. And you've saved a lot of money. Yes, I'm, I'm coming to Norway without having to pay Norwegian prices.